Dr. Kudumo told NBC News that opposition parties were supposed to have started discussions and formally planning how to execute a coalition. With the short time at their disposal, he said it might be difficult to match the different parties' ideologies for benefit of a coalition. You don't just jump into a coalition. There's a lot of work that you need to do before time. And they need even to be an agreement in terms of what will be the major issues and if there are differences, what are the internal processes that will put in place to address those differences. So in the case of Namibia, the political party, although coalition is a good thing, have not thought through it previously. The political party that are getting into a coalition must understand what are the issues ideologically and in terms of approaches and strategies that are dear to us? Which one can we compromise? Which one can we not compromise? Dr. Kundumo advises opposition parties to enter into a coalition in order to amplify their impact. I will encourage them to get into coalition, but it should be coalitions that are based on ideologies, that are based on agreeing when they are in that coalition, what will be the focus area? What is it that they should focus on? Because in the final analysis, it is about service and serving people to the best of their abilities. They can go around that, but it needs a lot of planning and thought processes. Political parties still have to depend on the government to provide the funds required for their programs. That raises the question of how possible that will be, considering the central government is run by the ruling party. But it will be suicidal for any government to punish its own citizens because of they hold a different political view. The resources of a country, including financial resources, does not belong to a political party. It is the resources of the state, it is the resources that all citizens contribute to and it will not be appropriate for anyone to punish a region or to punish people because they voted differently. Dr. Kudumo further says opposition parties have a mammoth task to deliver to the masses who voted them into power. The opposition parties have now to demonstrate that they can govern effectively, that they are better governors than the opponents that have lost these elections. And as we have indicated, these elections have been issue-based. They are issues that are affecting people. And they need to address those issues urgently. Service delivery is now a major preoccupation of most of the citizens. Kundumo described these year's regional and local authority elections as highly competitive. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.